All right. Um, again, I'm Joe, and um, really looking forward to this presentation. I've been working with PMI and with Carrie and the team here and getting this scheduled. So thank you all for uh, uh, joining us today. Um, the topic for today is PMI tools for aspiring project managers. Carrie, Tina, and Temi will be presenting today. Uh, we'll do some little chapter admin before we get started. Uh, I'm going to go into this mode. Can everyone see my slides? Yes. Okay. Um, too many buttons with the <laughs> with the Zoom here. Um, well, I'll thank our sponsors. So Apex Systems, uh, Strategic, and Baldwin Wallace um, at different levels of sponsorship. Uh, really appreciate the what they offer to our chapter as far as either facilities or sponsoring an event or even sponsoring, um, um, you know, just uh, general uh, sponsorship. So thank you. Um, we also have preferred partners with Velocity Teach and Peak Business who offer uh, training courses at a discount for our members. Uh, we also have feature content providers, Baldwin Wallace, Project Bytes, and of course our um, parent uh, projectmanagement.com, a lot of great stuff out there to take advantage of. Uh, we will be expanding our um, offerings with Baldwin Wallace soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, please, uh, as you did today, you came to our website to register for events. Please continue to come to our website to look for future events. Uh, we also are on six platforms for social media. If you go to our homepage, PMINEO.org, scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the six links. We're on YouTube. Uh, we're even on threads, believe it or not. We gave that a shot too. So we're on X, Twitter, threads, Facebook, LinkedIn. However you want to get a hold of us, we're there. Um, and we like to share our events in both email, web, and on social media. Um, for today, um, if you can ideally drop any questions you have in the chat, I'll be monitoring the chat. Uh, Carrie and the team will call out to say, hey, is there any questions in the chat? Um, if your question's really long, just say that in the chat, and then we'll have you open your mic and um, and voice your question. But for, if you wouldn't mind, please mute yourselves during the presentation. Use the chat initially, and then if we need to unmute you, uh, we can do that. All right, so we have three wonderful speakers from PMI, uh, Carrie, Tina, and Temi. Uh, they're on the call today and um, giving us a really diverse set of uh, topics that will appeal to not only project management certification candidates, but also good project management practitioners. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to you, Carrie. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay. Thank you so much. So let me get the screen up and running. Okay, two. okay. Can you see my main slide or are you seeing notes? Okay. <laughs> so thank you everyone um, for having us today. We're really excited to be here. We have a lot to cover. So um, I'm gonna talk fast. I'm gonna be covering a few tools and Tina and Temi are also gonna talk about their areas. Um, as we were saying, please feel free to drop your questions in the chat. As I'm done my section, I'll jump in there and see if I can answer um, anything in the chat and we'll save some time at the end as well. So um, thank you again for having us and let's go ahead and get started. So um, the first tool I wanted to share with all of you that I think will be really helpful. I saw that there are a lot of PMP candidates, a few CAPM candidates, and even certified folks already who've been operating in the field for a while. Uh, the Career Navigator platform is a free platform available to everybody. Um, and what it is, is a career development platform, essentially. It really is targeting students, graduates, early career folks, but we did release a new feature, which I'll 
I'll talk to you about that can help those of you who might have been out in the workforce a little bit longer to uh, manage your PDUs. But what we heard from a lot of our customers, especially those that might be considering um, a career in project management, thinking about gaining some skills, even if project management might not be their full on profession, is there's a ton of information out there and it's really overwhelming. So where the heck do I start? So we developed this platform a few years ago. And essentially what people do is they fill out a career profile assessment, if you will. You tell us about um, your career aspirations, the skills you have, the skills you'd like to develop, the certifications you're interested in. And clearly many of you here are interested in certain certifications your learning preferences, um, and what your ultimate career goals are. And based on that information, Career Navigator recommends certain goals for you to pursue. It'll recommend your top two goals, and you can choose whether or not you'd like to uh, work on those, or you can take a look at the other list of goals and select ones you'd like to work on. But it really helps you kind of organize um, your progress in moving forward. It's broken into goals, milestones, and specific tasks. And those tasks are all different types of recommendations to help you grow in your career. Those tasks might recommend a podcast to listen to, an article to read, a course to take, joining your local chapter, um, lots of different resources and content that PMI has available that can sometimes be hard to find, but it's all organized within goals that you're trying to pursue in the growth of your career. Now, where do you find Career Navigator? There's several spots um, to, to find it. So if you go to our PMI.org uh, website, our main page, you can go up to the Explore tab and look under New Products and you'll find Career Navigator there. If you just happen to be on our main page and you scroll halfway down, there'll be a link there for you to go ahead and get started with Career Navigator. On this page, we also have a direct link that takes you to the landing page that explains a little bit more about Navigator and how it can help you in managing your career. And if you log into your My PMI dashboard as a registered user or member, and, and since many of you are here as part of the chapter, you're a member. If you log in there, you can also access Career Navigator from that spot. So lots of different ways to access it. Again, it's completely free for you to use. So we really encourage you to give it a try. As I mentioned, um, these are some just high level screenshots of what you'll experience. There is a goals assessment or building out your career profile. As you answer the questions within each section, the recommendations become more and more personalized. Once you've completed that assessment area, Career Navigator will, will take that information and recommend your goals. You can add your goals to your roadmap. There's a list view, as you can see in this screenshot, it might be a little tough to see, but you can look at it uh, as you try it out. And there's also a Kanban board view of the tasks. So you can manage your activities quite easily. And for those of you, since many of you are candidates for certification, once you've earned your certification, there are goals in Career Navigator to help you maintain your certification and earn PDUs so that you continue that professional development. And it gives you an easy way to manage and plan for your, for your PDUs so that you don't lose track. As I mentioned, we do have a new recommendation feature in Career Navigator. So um, if you're new and you don't have a certification yet and you're using Career Navigator, you're getting ready to see if you meet the requirements for the certification, you're getting ready to prepare and study, you're going through the application process, our goals will help you work through that. But once you do earn your certification, and congratulations to the person who just got their PMP this past weekend, and all of you who are going to pass with flying colors, once you have your certification, you'll be able to go into Career Navigator, 
and choose a maintain your CAPM or your PMP goal and add it as a goal in Career Navigator. And what that will do was will provide you with a recommendation feature. There will be a tutorial that'll walk you through how to use this area, but you can see that you can track your progress. So you can see how many uh, PDUs you need to earn, how many you might have earned already. You can plan out the number of PDUs you still need to get to fulfill those requirements. You can, as you add these specific tasks, which are the PDU earning opportunities, so attending webinars, attending courses, giving back and volunteering uh, within your chapter to the local community, you can align all of your tasks with the PMI talent triangle and um, earn the correct number of PDUs that you need in each of those areas. So we really just encourage you to go through once you've achieved your certification, add that maintain your cert goal um, in there and it'll help you keep track so that you don't let um, your certification lapse. It's a lot of work, a lot of effort to get your certification and you want to share with the world that you're qualified out in the workforce. You don't want to let it lapse. So please leverage this free opportunity to manage your PDUs. And one additional thing I did want to quickly mention is you can also filter PDU earning opportunities. Um, as a member, you can filter by member benefits. So those opportunities that are free to you as a member, anything that might have a fee associated with it, if you get a member discount, you can filter by education type PDUs versus given, giving back and many more um, ways to filter those PDUs depending on how it is you like to learn. So that was a very, very quick overview of Career Navigator. I'm going to go into another tool for you um, that we think will be really helpful. And this is Kickoff. Kickoff is also free. Um, basically, it's a 45 minute course and digital toolkit that helps you learn the basics of project management. I think for those of you who are interested in the CAPM, along with the other studying opportunities that you're taking on, this would be a great start, not the only, but a start for you to understand project management basics, especially if you've been tapped to lead a project and it's kind of difficult to figure out where, where to start, what are the first steps to take. Kickoff is completely free. The link is down here at the bottom of the slide but it'll walk you through the course. As you're going through the course, there'll be templates that you can download and use right away. If you do have a certification already, this is a great PDU earning opportunity. You can earn a PDU for taking this course. And there are two paths. There's a predictive path and an agile path. So if you wanna brush up on those skills or that terminology, there's a glossary included in it. There's great questions to ask as you're managing a project. So it's a great introductory tool if you need something now and to get started quite quickly. And last but not least, so I'm presenting on behalf of our colleague, Patrick, I wanted to talk to you about PMI Standards Plus. PMI Standards Plus is free for PMI members. As a chapter member, you are a PMI member. So again, this tool is free for you to use. The link is at the top of the slide. But really what this is, it's a digital companion to the PMBOK guide and several of PMI's other standards. And it's a great day-to-day -to -day tool. If you're facing a challenge or you're in a certain part of the project process, you can take a look at this from a reference perspective and see the standards content without having to flip through the whole standard itself. There's also additional resources um, as part of it. So you'll see videos and case studies and articles that talk about the real world application of what's in our standards so that you can get a better understanding and idea of how you might use the tool in your day-to-day -day world in managing products or projects, excuse me. 
You can filter the content within uh, PMI Standards Plus based on the approach, the industry that you might be working in, or the types of formats that you like to work with, whether those you know, are audio formats, graphics, or just straight readable text. And um, we have the standards listed here as well that you'll be able to access as part of this tool. And last but not least, as you're clicking into the content, if there's stuff that you wanna bookmark or you wanna create your own playlist because there's certain topic areas that you wanna dive into deeper, you can add these pieces of content to your own personalized playlist in Standards Plus so that you can go back to it and refer to it at any time. But it's a great day-to-day -to -day tool that can help you uh, manage your projects as you move throughout the project life cycle. So that was a lot of information. Uh, we're just getting started. I'm now going to turn the presentation over to my colleague, Temi, to talk to you about PMI Study Hall. So those of you who are PMP candidates, keep your ears open here. Awesome, thank you, Carrie. Hello, everyone. My name is Temi, and I'm very excited to share Study Hall with you today, talk about what it is and how it can benefit you as you prepare for the PMP and beyond. So Study Hall is a digital study companion tool. We like to call it the ultimate study buddy because it's designed to supplement your learning. It doesn't train you on PMP and how to write the exam, but it supports you and helps you review a lot of the key concepts you'll see on the exam. It contains PMP exam content to provide you with a confidence boost so you feel more prepared. But if you already have your exam, it contains up-to-date information to give you a refresher of your knowledge so you can stay up-to-date with PMP concepts and what's going on in the industry. It offers PMP prep on the go, so you have your PMP prep in your pocket. It's available on desktop and mobile, iOS and Android, and it encourages users to study smarter by making exam prep effective and enjoyable. And in the spirit of making things enjoyable, I thought we'd have a little fun. Next slide, please, Carrie. And we'd start off with a quick game of study hall, would you rather? So these are rhetorical questions. I don't want us to have a debate because we'll be here for two hours, but just think in your mind about your preference and we'll go along. So firstly, if you're preparing for the PMP, how would you prefer to learn? Would you prefer to read a case study or watch a webinar? Okay. Let's move on to the next question. How would you prefer to review concepts? Would you like to do a few practice questions or go through a few flashcards? All right, next question. Which motivates you more? Seeing your name on the top of the leaderboard as a top scorer or receiving an achievement badge for your progress? And lastly, next slide. Which is more fun after a long study session? Would you rather read a comic strip or complete a crossword puzzle? All right, moving on. Luckily, you don't have to pick and choose. Study Hall has it all. And it's the ultimate tool that allows you to study in the way you prefer. And there are two options. So this is the only choice you really have to make, whether picking Study Hall Essentials and Plus. And the main differences between these two are, first of all, the pricing. Um, they are both quarterly subscriptions, so they renew every three months, but the Essentials is $49 and the Plus is $79. And that's because the Essentials has two full-length exams, whereas the Plus has five full-length exams. Essentials has 15 mini exams, Plus has 20. Essentials has 200 practice questions, Plus has 250. And the Plus also offers premium webinars for those who want advanced learning. So those are the main differences between the two. They both have the personalized learning plan, lessons, videos, flashcards, games, and activities. So I usually recommend Plus for someone who is beginning their PMP prep journey. They need more practice tests or more support. That's the way to go. But if you are right about to take your exam and you just need a little boost, maybe a few more practice questions or exams, or you already have your PMP and you just want something to refresh your knowledge, the essentials is the way to go. Next. 
So now let's dive into study hall so we can see what it looks like. And upon logging in, this is your main dashboard. You'll see a countdown calendar where you'll be able to input your prospective exam date and it will personalize to ensure that you have daily knowledge goals and content to go through each day leading up to your exam as you complete the progress plan. So no matter when your exam is, if your exam is tomorrow on the calendar, it'll say one day left but you'll have probably a million knowledge goals to get through. So the more time you have, the more time you can pace yourself and complete the content. And you know, from the dashboard, you'll be able to select that purple learning task button and go through the content for the day. So you don't have to think about what am I studying today? It's already set up for you. Below that, you'll see your um, percentile ranking. So you have some progress tracking for how you're performing amongst other study hall users preparing for the PMP exam. But you can also see your average score on practice questions and practice exams. And oh, I just see a question pop up. So this material is separate from ATP content. So um, as I said, study hall is a supplemental tool. We expect users to already have some project management experience from work, um, study with ATPs or on their own, read books, and then throw in study hall into that mix to have that support throughout. So this is very unique content. You don't find anything in study hall anywhere else, just to make that clear. Um, to the left, there is a navigation menu where you can access all the features directly. And to the right is where you can see your top game scores and achievement badges that you've earned. Moving along to the next slide, we can dive deeper into that progress tracking below. The strengths and weaknesses. So this is broken down to all the tasks and domains on the exam. So you can really work on your proficiency from beginner to expert in every section. And you can see where you're strong and where you're weak. And you can hone on to those weaknesses and focus on tasks related to that specific subject. So that's a great way to kind of pace yourself and focus on what's important for the exam. Moving along. And here is a glimpse of the learning plan. As you can see, before we dive into that, you can see that there is a variety of ways of learning. Again, it's divided into the different tasks and domains of the exam. So again, you can focus on the areas you need the most. Um, so we have a variety of learning styles and I'll, I'll jump into that in the next slide. So for our content, we want to ensure that people of different learning styles are able to benefit from study hall. So whether you're an auditory learner, you like to listen to podcasts or lectures, or you're a visual learner, you like to read and see graphs that explain concepts visually, or you prefer recall where you're doing flashcards and trying to hone your memory and remember some of those key terms. Study hall has it all and you can navigate through that in each of the sections and have a little piece of content to, to appeal to you. Um, moving along. And speaking of memory recall, our game center has seven games, puzzles, and activities that help you focus on those key terms and words you'll see on the exam. So by the time the exam comes, you're very comfortable. You know what a risk report is, what scope management plan is. You have that down pat. And to motivate you along the way, we have achievement badges and motivation. So there are 50, over 50 achievement badges to unlock. And whether you answer 10 questions correctly or 10 questions incorrectly, there is something there to motivate you to keep on going. And then the last slide. This is the, I guess maybe the cream of the crop or what takes the cake, what everybody loves our practice questions and our practice exams. So we offer the full length exams, which mimic the exam, you know, four hours, how, you're, how you'll take the exam. We have mini practice exams, which have 15 questions each, um, just to help you build endurance to take that full exam. And we also have question of the day emails. So if you're not able to log in and access the app, maybe you're busy, you have a work deadline, at least you can answer one question a day just to make progress towards your overall learning. And all of our questions do come complete with rationales, solutions, and references. So you can learn from your mistakes, you know, learn where you got it wrong, learn why the correct answer is correct and the incorrect answers are incorrect, and also reference some books for further reading and learning. And lastly, our exclusive, you can't find this anywhere else, our Pearson View sample exam, which has 25 questions. So you can take a, a sample exam in the exact same interface for exam day. So on exam day, there's no surprises. You know exactly what the screen will look like and you just feel more confident and comfortable taking that exam. 
Um, so that is pretty much study hall. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to studyhall at pmi.org and you can scan that QR code again to learn more. But um, rooting for you all, this would be a great tool to add into your toolbox just to have that support and a study buddy along the way and all the best to you. And if you have your PMP, you can join uh, study hall and just play the games and have some fun. Thank you. Thanks, Temi. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. Okay, my name's Tina Pearson, and let me see if I can move this out of the way. Yeah. And uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about CAPM exam, the program, and some of the updates. Uh, so some of the contents we'll review is just, you know, the uh, CAPM, how to, why you would earn a CAPM, some of the features of the updated exam, eligibility, and how to maintain your certification. Uh, so just starting right in with, you know, what is CAPM? It's uh, our globally recognized credential introduced in 2003 to meet the growing demands for an associate level certification in the field of project management. It covers the foundations of project management and will help you gain entry into the project management profession. Since CAPM certification is offered by an organization with the expertise of PMI, you'll start seeing the benefits of certification right away. And did you know CAPM was ranked number one most in-demand certification to get now by Entrepreneur Media? Uh, number two was the PMP. Uh, CAPM is the second largest credential in terms of active certification holders uh, for PMI. Um, as of September, we currently have 71,000 active CAPM certification holders and 130,000 gross. The CAPM certification can create opportunities for those with three or less years of project experience and looking to gain more responsibility or add project management skills to their current role and stand out from the crowd. So why earn a CAPM? Well, all organizations and employees work on projects. Understanding the fundamentals of project management can help manage projects more effectively by demonstrating professional knowledge. And this knowledge can be applied to on-the-job experiences that help develop competencies in the practice of project management. With the continuing increase in demand for project managers, CAPM certification allows employers and employees to prepare and enjoy the benefits earlier in their career. With CAPM, professionals will learn to align their work with the standards required by project management teams. Learning new skills or highlighting your expertise can open doors to new opportunities and allows you to enhance your current career as well as help you enter into a new career. Even if you're not on the path to become a project manager, but you're looking for a new career working on or with project teams, having a CAPM certification will provide you with the confidence needed to work in that project environment. Uh, those looking to upskill in their current role will find CAPM not only gives you the skills needed to prove yourself, uh, but also gives you the confidence to help you decide the, the best path for your future. So whether you're looking to advance your career or maintain your current position, it's important to make sure that your skills remain up to date and relevant for the road that you choose to take. It's even more critical because according to PMI's 2021 Talent Gap Report, the demand for project management skills continues to be on the rise. It's reported that the global economy will need 25 million new project professionals by 2030. So project management, it's a rapidly growing profession. And with CAPM, you'll be on the fast track to opportunity. So talk about some of the features of the new updated exam. The new CAPM certification exam launched July 25th of this year and is uh, gonna better support candidates in their career journey. We have updated the exam to ensure it reflects the market expectations of entry and associate level professionals making it an essential first step in building a career as a project management. The updated exam will better support customers by uh, expanding foundational knowledge, including predictive project management, business analysis, and agile techniques. Uh, so some of the things that will remain the same uh, compared to the previous version, it's still a 150 question exam, still remains to be three hours. 
with education experience eligibility remaining the same. Uh, the cost is the same, and you still have to earn the 15 PDUs to maintain the credential. Uh, things that changed, in addition to the PMBOK guide, some of the terms from practice analysis for practitioners um, and some other reference books are included. And in addition to the PM Basics course, we now offer a CAPM prep course um, that's both available through our ATP channel, and there will be an e-learning on demand coming at uh, the end of 2023. So what's new? We have our four new domain uh, areas. There's now also a 10 minute break in the exam. Uh, there are some animation and comic strip items, which I'll demonstrate in the next slide. And the exam is available in English plus se seven languages. So new for the exam, PMI has added some animations and comics um, that's only available on our English exams and the animations are only available in the computer test basing centers. Uh, so candidates would watch the video, review the scenario, and then answer the multiple choice questions that followed. For those taking the exam at home, uh, online proctored OPT, the candidate would instead see a comic strip instead of the animation. Um, but again, review the scenario and then answer the multiple choice questions that followed. So regarding eligibility for CAPM, um, it doesn't require you to have any experience working in projects and the education requirements for CAPM are simple. A high school diploma, GED or secondary degree uh, or the global equivalent and 23 contact hours of project management education. Oops. Uh, though you don't need to be a PMI member to take any of our exams, Members do receive discounts on professional development opportunities and valuable tools and templates. And when you're ready, getting certified is easier than ever. From the date of the application approval, you'll have one year to schedule and take the exam. And you can take the exam up to three times during this one period. If you choose to take the exam at a computer-based test center, you can search for centers near you on pearsonview.com. And after your application has been submitted, approved, and you've been made eligible to exam, you'll be able to schedule your testing appointment and see the true availability. Uh, candidates can also take the CAPM exam from home, uh, home or office with 24 hour testing options to accommodate even the most demanding schedules. And some re resources to help prepare. When you're ready to apply, regardless of how advanced your project experience or education might be, you should still prepare for the exam. We found that successful CAPM candidates typically use multiple study aids, including courses, self-study and study groups, and will spend many hours to prepare. So make sure you review our CAPM exam content outline and leave yourself plenty of prep time before you take the exam. PMI offers several ways to help you train, whether it's self-paced learning, virtual or in-person training, PMI can support your learning journey. With the addition of business analysis and agile, we're offering candidates more ways to prepare by offering CAPM prep courses experience. Candidates can also choose from our PM basics course. Um, there's also a CAPM official cert guide, which can be found on Pearson ITP or Amazon. Um, that's available in ebook, uh, print book, PDF download, uh, there is an instructor-led course available through our authorized training partners. And the end of this year, we'll have our new self-paced video course. So once you have the certification, uh, once the candidate passes the exam and the is a credential holder, your certification cycle will begin. Uh, CAPM is valid for three years. And in order to maintain the certification, you must earn and report 15 pro professional development units uh, PDUs within those three year cycle. We have the PMI Talent Triangle, um, which provides a valuable framework to help you navigate your ongoing professional development. And to keep your credential active, you can enter the 15 PDUs online in our CCR system and pay the renewal fee, which is separate from the PMI membership fee. So we know that each individual has different professional needs and desires. The CCR program is designed to be flexible so it can adapt to your needs and allow you to customize your activities. 
The program provides a general framework and guidance and you determine your ultimate CCR development path. For details and instructions on how to track them and the renewal system, you can download our CCR handbook. And then earning the CAPM shows employers your passion and commitment to project management and your ability to pursue more advanced certifications as you gain experience. With certifications designed for all experience levels, there's always an optimal next step to enhance and accelerate your career. With CAPM, you'll be on the fast track to opportunity and those looking to move on to the PMP certification can bypass the 35 hours of project management training needed to apply. So you can find out what else CAPM can do for you by visiting us at pmi.org slash certifications. So I wanna thank you and there's our QR code uh, for more information to learn about the exam. Um, and that is it for me. Uh, Tina yeah. and uh, Tina Temi, maybe it's between the two of you. So there's a question in the chat and um, I, I kind of have my own answer for it, but I wanted to see what you thought. So for the CAPM exam, do you recommend the PMI study hall as a study tool? No, we do not. Good, Tim, you wanna jump in? I was gonna say, unfortunately, we don't have a CAPM version for our study hall currently. So I wouldn't recommend it. I guess there may be some terms in there, they may benefit you, but it's not for the CAPM. So I wouldn't encourage it. Perfect. Okay, so it's not considered overkill, like if you did use it for the CAPM? Or I think that I... because the, uh, the PMP exam is really testing your knowledge based on your experience as a project manager, mm -hmm. where the CAPM exam is testing um, your foundational knowledge. So it's not going to be scenario based questions um, like the PMP. So they're two separate levels. We, you know, we don't recommend saying, you know, study for the PMP and you'll pass the CAPM um, because you know, the PMP is based more on experience um, versus the, the CAPM. Okay. It's, it's foundational knowledge, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll see if there's any other questions in the chat for either of you. I think we're answering them along the way. Mm -hmm. I did put a uh, commercial in there for giving back. So chapter is a great way to give back <laughs> if you're looking for PDUs there. Um, yeah, CAPM is on a three-year cycle. You mentioned that. Um, we put the cost in for the study hall. I don't see any new questions. If anybody does have a question you want to drop in in the chat, uh, please do. And and Carrie and team, um, do you have any other materials to cover or do we just want to do Q&A now? Sure. Yeah, I think we're ready for Q&A if there's other questions. Great. We went through a lot of stuff. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'll jump in and address. Um, so Kristen had asked about uh, renewing the CAPM and she might be remembering from years ago, uh, CAPM used to be based solely on our PMBOK exam, our PMBOK book. And in order to renew the CAPM, you had to retake the exam every five years. Um, so it was a brand new exam. It really wasn't renewing the credential. You had to sit for the exam every five years to get the CAPM. Uh, so we have updated that policy back in uh, three years ago in 2020. Um, to make it a renewable certification. So you sit for the exam, you earn your 15 PDUs, and then you renew it um, once you pay that renewal fee. So you no longer have to sit for the exam multiple times. Can't imagine the stress and anxiety with that. <laughs> Someone did ask about the PDUs for this particular session. So I do have a slide on my slide deck that we'll cover and I'll also email it out. Um, this local chapter, we have people self-report. We'll give you the PDU code. You have to report it yourself. Any other questions for our great speakers? I think we hit it out of the park. Look at this. Yeah, you did great. There's a lot of good stuff in those slides. So um, I will, I'm going to share mine, um, but we will combine those slide decks together um, and email it out to everybody that attended. 
Um, the session is being recorded, so that there will be it'll be uploaded to YouTube. So if you want to watch it again, um, we could do that. And uh, I'll also include the PDU information for you to self-report. Okay, so why can't my slides advance? There we go. Um, so here's the PDU code for today. Um, so all you have to do is type in that that claim code, that quick claim code, um, and that's C048. That's a zero, not an O. And just if you just type in that when you go to that claim page, um, it'll pre-fill everything else for you. You just have to acknowledge it and it'll automatically add it to your um, your dashboard. Uh, how else can we get PDUs? So in general, of course, come to these chapter events. We have one a month. Uh, we do, we are looking for an event for October. We don't have one yet. Um, but we're working on that on November 2nd. We're going to have International Project Management Day. There's an evening event at Baldwin Wallace. Love to have you there. We've got a great speaker, Beth Wallet. We'll um, have a, a second part of her series on emotional intelligence. So it'll be very good. So I'd love to see you there. And um, projectmanagement.com has webinars. There's a lot of great podcasts from PMI and uh, Velocity Teach, uh, one of our uh, partners um, also has a manage this podcast. They're really interesting. Uh, so great ways to earn PDUs, whether in person or on your own time. Um, I want to thank everybody. Thank you, especially to uh, Tina, Temi, and Carrie for a great presentation. We appreciate you uh, giving up your time for us uh, to do that. And I want to thank everybody. I'm going to see if there's any other questions. Looks like we're all good. So, um, Robert, it is a zero, C048. But once you get my email, Robert, if you didn't capture it, um, you can just copy and paste it out of my email <laughs> that I'll send you this weekend. Okay. Again, thanks, everyone. Appreciate you joining us today. Hope to see you at a future chapter meeting. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye, Thank everybody. You. Thank Good you, Carrie. Carrie, Tammy. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.